The dashboard starts with a typical maintenance overview where you would see the list of all your assets in a tabular form with the most important values, you know, like total consumption, uh, remaining time, and so on. But if we would be interested in looking at a specific asset, a specific robot, we would then access the asset tree structure. And we could go into a specific asset like that one, providing a more sophisticated and detailed view of the data where we would include more maintenance data, typical data, like the total on time and the runtime here, but also providing lots of additional functionalities that are being defined in the asset model that we use for that application. So everything is like predefined and comes out of the box. We have trends where we could retrieve a list of properties and we could drag and drop them onto the trend. We would have a point detail list like that one where we see all assets and all properties of the assets, including the data source. We would see a specific alarm view for that robot asset. And finally, there is a like a reference page with additional information that we could provide to an operator or service personnel. 